always one of those really odd things waiting for Facebook to catch up with my phone. So let's see if that works. Okay. Hopefully it will. All right. I got challenged recently by stamping up to share my stamping up story, which sounds a bit odd. And the story doesn't start a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It's actually far more mundane and definitely not as nice of costumes as are on Star Wars. But never mind. I thought I would share my stamping up journey with you. I have been paper crafting and teaching paper craft for very, very close to 30 years now. And I don't do the maths of that very often because it makes me feel old, especially when my son is now taller than me, but never mind. So when Stamping Up first came to Australia in April 2006, I was actually seven months pregnant with my son. So, and I was working a job where I was doing about 80 hours a week and I was working away and we were selling house and moving house and it was completely crazy. So there was no way I was going to be taking on something new at that stage because I had enough new things happening in my life. But back in the day, in 2006, well before all the Facebook and Instagram and all of those amazing technologies that we have today that have enabled us to survive 2020 a lot better I think in some ways than we might necessarily have done decades ago but in 2006 when Stamping Up were launching in Australia they put an advert a competition in the sort of premier stamping magazine in Australia at the time called Stamping and Papercraft. For those of you who used to subscribe to it like me, uh, I still have some of the uh, issues of stamping and papercraft, especially the ones that had me in it, yay, and were well, not me, my work. So I entered the competition and there were three prizes nationally across Australia and I happened to win one. And even though I couldn't join Stamping Up at that point, I won this prize pack. And the prize pack had a stamp set, it had a couple of ink pads and a pack of coloured paper and some instructions to make some cards. And I thought I would share with you the stamp set today. And this is it. I think you can see it now. It's called Crazy for Christmas. I don't know if you can quite see it. It's three really long sort of... Uh, stamps and then it's got a sentiment here as well and I won the stamp set and I still own it as you can see and I do still use it occasionally which is always one of those really nice things and I basically thought you know I don't want to join, you know, I don't want to join. I know there are benefits and I know it's good fun and it was like, you know, everyone was jumping on the bandwagon joining and I was like, no, it's not for me at the moment. I've got a new baby and I've got no family support and it was all too much. So about, I, my son would have been about 18 months old and I had to go, we were going to a wedding and I had to go and buy a card because I'd run out of cards. And I went down to the news agency and I came home and I was so disgusted with the choice of cards they were just horrible and the cheapest half decent one was about $16 and this is 14 years ago so I was very unimpressed so I sort of said to my husband you're gonna to have to take the baby for a little bit I need to make a card and I joined after about a week after that wedding I called a girlfriend who was a standing up demonstrator and I said I need to join because I'm not working, I'm looking after the baby, but I need a hobby that can pay for itself. And I, I want to go back to my card making. So I joined Stamping Up and I guess you'd say the rest is history. I have a pretty awesome team of people who I get to meet with regularly and craft with and be creative and lament the retirement of some things and get excited about new things. And um, yeah, we have lots of fun. and. 
it is one of those ones it does definitely pay for itself my hobby so that's always a good thing tomorrow is a great time if you need to stock up on anything because there is a 10 percent off sale of everything other than about uh, i think there's about 30 items in the annual catalog that is not included in the sale but other than that uh that one is there and talking of catalogs oh, my new ones for the new year have arrived so yay you don't want to see me you want to see these ones um if you do want copies of the new ones that are coming for celebration and for the january to june mini catalog let me know but at pizza night on saturday night i took along my little stamp set that's 14, 15 years old and I made a couple of quick cards because uh, that's what you do in between eating lots of carbohydrates and chatting. Uh, six hours goes super fast at pizza nights. But the first card that I made was just a very simple, I don't know if you can quite see, I think you can sort of see it about there. Very simple, I just coloured the trees, added a sentiment and had a little bit of gold thread so I put that around it super simple Christmas card which is pretty much what you want with Christmas cards because if you're like me you end up making lots and this was the one using the baubles I actually stamped stays on ink with the baubles and colored on the back of them with the stampin blends and then just added a little bit of colored cardstock up and down now in close to 30 years of paper crafting i've never yet been able to find any adhesive anywhere that attaches vellum properly okay without it showing through so all i do with this is i just wrap the vellum there's actually two i don't know if it's going to focus on that there's actually a white panel over the front of the white base and I just wrap the vellum around that white panel and stick that down because otherwise your vellum will adhesive will show so lots of sneaky ways to adhere vellum and then the presents instead of making a Christmas card I needed a birthday card because I've got a couple of very special birthdays this week coming up in the family so I thought I would make that one as well so a couple of quick ideas with that stamp set i'm pretty sure we've all got stamps that we haven't used in a very very long time it can't just be me that um has stamp sets that you love and you can't possibly sh get rid of but you don't use them very often so my challenge and i'm thinking i will have add a prize on this one at the end of the week my challenge go find a stamp set you haven't used in at least two months or in my case 10 years and make a card with it share the card and I'll put you in a draw to win a prize all right stay safe have fun don't get too stressed about Christmas is coming in only a few weeks now and oh I forgot to say with the new catalogs that are coming I've got a couple of new events happening as well so they are up on the calendar already 9th of January and the first Saturday in February whose date I can't remember so check those out as well otherwise have fun enjoy your week and I will hopefully craft with you all soon bye